very warm welcome to the Trading Mentor, where we are dedicated to your success. Welcome to the market update. Just a quick uh, disclaimer, we do not offer any investment advice at any stage. All the information we give is for educational purposes only. Please do your own research. Please make your own decisions. This is vital for your own benefit. A very warm welcome into the markets this morning. It's the 1st of April. It's April full to everybody out there. Uh, volumes are likely to remain very light because of the bank holiday weekend. Close Friday and Monday, so I don't think many people are putting on positions. We've got a few on. This is the euro dollar. Uh, just a couple of points here which we are aware of, which you should be aware of too. Um, current price 11739. Not much going on as we expected. What's interesting about the longer term chart on the left, which is the four hour, the histogram is showing an upward cycle, yet the price is moving down. This is called positive divergence. We rarely trade against the trend unless there's divergence and it's clear and confirmed. So here's the deal. On the, left, on the right, we have the 30 minute chart with the 50 and the 200 moving average. And what I'm looking for is, what I'm looking for is the price to break uh, 1, 117.60, something like that. So we've got to put an order in, an entry order, market order, whatever you want to call it, depending on your charts to break up above that so it's above the 200 above the 50 and that's good enough to us and that's probably going to go to 118 uh, 11840 oil is a bit of a wild horse i think it's the best way to say it we wouldn't trade oil at the moment because uh, there's an OPEC meeting, the oil charts on the left now, $60.42. It broke down below the trend line, but since then has gone back up. On the left now you have the US Canadian. Uh, we've got several positions on this one short. As you can see, this has consolidated um, up towards the 200 day moving average on the four hour and now has broken the 50 as well. So this is a, what we call a swing high. Whenever we get a swing high, we are looking for early positions to get in. And we're in profit now, which is good. Our target is down here somewhere 124.75 somewhere down there <clears throat> um, we also have a position on US yen let me grab the chart US yen. we know this is an uptrend we don't need to look at the chart do we <laughs> really um, it's been there for quite a while, but we have a buy on this at uh, 11769, slightly in profit. And our target, as we spoke about yesterday, is the pivots. Quite often, you find that the price doesn't reach some of the pivots. The R2 is major resistance area, 111.31. And we've got our target here, 111.08. It's quite often, it will go to the 50% of the pivot. 11.16 but we you know we'll probably hold this for a few days with the Easter bank holiday but that's fine we don't have a problem with that uh, 
an interesting chart on the Aussie yen. If you saw this, very interesting chart. As you can see here on the left now, the four hour chart has bounced down to the 50 day moving average. Significant uh, resistance, uh, so support, significant support here above the 200 day moving average. So, um, we had a buy down here somewhere, 83.55 in profit slightly. Copper, uh, let me grab copper for you. We had a nice trade on this. The Aussie Canadian, we had a lovely trade, didn't we? Congratulations to everybody who had that trade. As you can see here on the left, copper is weak. And we reached our target of 39.50. Again, we spoke about pivots the other day, didn't we? These are significant areas of resistance and support. So when you see S1, S2, these are buy zones in an uptrend, of course. You know, downtrend, R1 and R2 are sell zones. We've just seen that in Aussie, uh, US Canadian, haven't we? So we'll wait for another setup on copper. That looks nice to go down further, possibly. We don't know. In my blog today, I spoke about the pound USD. I often in the blog talk about 200 day moving average and the 100, if you notice that. Um, but as we can see on the left, the pound USD on the 4 hour is showing some strength above the 50 day moving average and some weakness below the 200 day moving average. So this is what we call no man's land. It's not, there's, we've got plenty of opportunities, even if this shoots up or down, it doesn't matter, it's no man's land. For us, we leave it alone. So we have Aussie Yen in profit, US Canadian in profit, US Yen in profit, albeit slightly. Well, that's it for today's update. Um, not much else going on, very low volumes. So I shall probably do an update on Tuesday when we come back from the Easter break. Have a brilliant weekend. Don't eat too many Easter eggs. I sure will. Have a great weekend.